The Willie Lynch Letter, Part 5, Conclusion. Control the language. Crossbreeding completed. For further severance from their original beginning, we must completely annihilate the mother tongue of both the new black Negro and the new mule and institute a new language that involves the new life's work of both. You know that language is a peculiar institution. It leads to the heart of a people. The more a foreigner knows about the language of another country, the more he's able to move through all levels of that society. Therefore, if the foreigner is an enemy of the country, to the extent that he knows the body of the language, to that extent is that country vulnerable to attack or invasion of a foreign culture. For example, if you take a slave and teach him all about your language, he will know all your secrets and he is then no more a slave for you can't fool him any longer. Another example, if you told a slave that he must perform in getting out our crops and he knows the language well, he would know that our crops didn't really mean our crops and the slavery system would break down for he would relate on the basis of what our crops really meant. So you have to be careful in setting up the new language for the Negro slaves would soon be in your house talking to you man to man. And that is death to our economic system. In addition, the definitions of words or terms are only a minute part of the process. Values are created and transported by communication through the body of the language. A total society has many interconnected value systems. All the values in the society have bridges of language to connect them for orderly working in the society. But for these language bridges, these many value systems would sharply clash and cause internal strife or civil war to the degree of the conflict being determined by the magnitude of the issue or relative opposing strength in whatever form. Another example, if you put a slave in a hog pen and train him to live there and incorporate in him to value it as a way of life completely. The biggest problem you would have out of him is that he would worry you about the provisions to keep the hog pen clean. Or the same hog pen, if you make a slip and incorporate something in his language whereby he comes to value a house more than he does his hog pen, you've got a problem. He will soon be in your house. The end of part five.